What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about Anchor Bash. With this one here, I'll be testing lots of stuff including if there's any sweet spot, how much is the boost on jump contest and hands up contest, what's the relation between block rating and this one, and lots of other stuff. So make sure to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway. And by the way, for those who missed my recent videos, all of these will be on the channel, it would be really awesome if you guys can check it out. So now, let's get right into it. So now for the definition, increases a player's ability to block shots and protect the rim at a high level. It is pretty much straightforward, it's just your rebranded rim protector badge. In the paint, it activates on jump and hands up contest, works as well on chase down blocks, and surprisingly, even on jump shots, it is working. You have to touch the ball though, it's not going to work if your hands are up or even while jumping without touching the ball. I know it's kinda odd that it works on outside shots as well, because in here, it was mentioned protecting the rim. <laughs> but it is what it is, just the proof that don't trust these definitions that much. So now for the first test, we'll do interior jump contest. We'll be doing this sequence here in lots of repetitions on every badge upgrade, and we'll get the average coverage. And for the results, in here you can see the boost is linear, meaning even up to Hall of Fame, you will still get a good boost. There's no saturation point or sweet spot. One more takeaway in here as well is that this stat proved that anchor badge is not just about the defender actually touching the ball. Because some players have the impression, even way way back with rim protector badge, that if you fail to block the ball, it means the badge wasn't even used. And <laughs> that's not true, it will give you better coverage as well, even you failed to block the ball. And by the way, this graph here will reflect on the actual blocking and your chase down blocks as well. Now, to give you more perspective on this one, let's compare it to my block rating stats. And after some calculations, here's my rough estimation. One anchor badge upgrade is something like 4 block rating points. Don't take those numbers too seriously, there's no physical point will be added to you when you put the badge. It's just my way of saying that one anchor badge will get you more coverage and blocks, just as much as 4 block ratings can do. Or something like, since the boost is linear, a hall of fame anchor badge will get you more coverage and blocks, just as much as 16 block ratings can do. Just a rough estimation though. So if you're a content creator and you want to reuse this info, if you really want to do it, please try to explain the whole context. Try not to just put these numbers out there because viewers might think that there's like a physical point they'll be added. That if you have 99 block rating, adding this badge will be a waste. <laughs> it's not like that. Now for the next one, what about on hands up contest? Same test, but of course we'll do hands up instead of jumping. And in here you can see the boost is so small. That's already no badge and hall of fame. And to give you more perspective on this one, 25 to 99 interior defense gap can make around 23 percentage point difference. So it means in terms of hands up contest, interior defense is more important, and in terms of jump contest, it'll be your block rating and anchor badge. Now, what about for driving dunks, chase downs, and outside contest? Let's find out after these messages. So before we proceed, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if liking so far, and if you're new here, I'm Chutes, and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now going back on outside shots, I tested no badge in the Hall of Fame on jump contest on a usual gap, and it didn't show any reasonable difference. Both no badge in the Hall of Fame were just playing around 23 to 25 percentage coverage. So I assume that the boost on the anchor badge on perimeter contest can only be felt when you actually touch the ball. Which kind of makes sense to be honest because that's the only time that the badge activates. And now for driving dunks, does it make the dunk meter window of the dunker smaller? So I took snapshots of their dunk meters and in here you can see no badge in the Hall of Fame are just about the same. So it means it doesn't touch it. So when you're jumping on a dunker, anchor badge will increase your chances of blocking the ball. It's not going to shrink the dunk meter window of the dunker. And to give you more perspective on this one, here's how interior defense can affect it. There's a bit of a difference. And here's how driving dunk can affect it. And now for the next one, what about for chase down blocks? As I mentioned a while ago, this graph here will reflect to whatever types of interior jump contest, including chase down blocks. And for the recommendation, of course, it depends on your build and playstyle, but safe to say that with the badge giving you a good boost on jump contest, which includes chase downs, it's a must-have on your big man builds. I think just treat it how you treated Rim Protector. 
And since there's no sweet spot, you can push it to Hall of Fame if you really want to. And if you're a small forward or lock build, knowing that it will activate on your chase downs and a boost is linear, I think it deserves at least bronze. If you really want to have an element of blocking on your build. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.